Hello and welcome to another short video. Once in a while we get this question on our Facebook group, OpenStreetMap Ireland Facebook group or in the Telegram group where people are looking for the map in Irish, Asquilge. Um And it is not possible at the moment on OpenStreetMap.org. But one of our members has posted a link, which I will put in the description, and it leads you to this map here. And if you zoom in, you can see that the place names are Asquilge in Irish. And I will not continue pronouncing them all because I'll fail. But if I zoom in to Kilkenny, you will see that some of the street names are in Irish, like Kieran Street is this one here, and High Street is this one here, and the Castle Road. Others aren't. The reason is that nobody has put the Irish name on OpenStreetMap. And in this video, I want to show you how to do that. One of the very neat ways to do it is using Street Complete. And if you do your mapping with Street Complete, you, you walk around and you come across a road or a street that doesn't have a name yet. So, I mean, you have to have this quest activated and you will get this question. What's the name of this road? And then the standard answer is English, but you can also add the Irish name. If the English name has already been added to the map, you won't get that quest. So you're going to have to use notes or you can take pictures, which is what I've done there in Kilkenny. And I'll start, I'll go over to openstreetmap.org and show you how to add the name. So I just walked up um, to St. Canis' Cathedral and down Coach Road and then to John Street. So I'll start with St. Canis' place. Because as you can see here, it doesn't have the Irish name on OpenStreetMap yet. So I'm logged in with my username, the usual spiel, and I'll just click edit. And I highlight St. Canis' place, which is only this bit here. Scroll down to all the tags, and you see that it has seven tags. One of them is name, but there is no name colon GA. So I'll add that name, colon, GA, and then just type what I see in my photograph. The, um, the FADA you do with the ALT key and then whatever vowel you need on the English keyword. Just double check that I spelled it correctly. So that's the first one. And then the next one is Velvet Lane. I think that's also not on it. Doesn't seem like it. It's um, it's not actually a lane anymore, but it still has a sign. So there's a gate here, it's not accessible. But I'll just add that as well. You might learn some new words in Irish there. So that's Velvet Lane. Next one is Church Lane, which is this whole thing, I think. Name colon GA. Golden rule here, do not copy any other maps. Do not translate on your own because sometimes the Irish name is actually different. It's not a literal translation from the English or vice versa for, um, for historical reasons. And you might get it wrong. So let's just see here, Church Lane goes around the church, obviously, and it's all one line. I'll just save this and then we'll go on to John Street because I want to show you something important. Added Irish street names, sources, street level photos. And if you're lucky enough, you might find them on Mapillary as well, if it's not being blurred by Mapillary. So you see here John Street Lower and John Street Upper don't have the Irish names yet. 
Um, it's John Street Lower, below Modlin Street, Michael Street. I don't know why the bus stop is still called John Street Upper. Um, for some reason, the bus stops should actually show the Irish name because they're all in the database already. I don't know why that isn't done. But anyway, so John Street Lower. And as you can see in the picture there, there are old street name signs and newer ones, the really ugly newer ones are bilingual. And the older ones, um, I think they usually had the, the English name on one side of the road and then the Irish name across the road. And the spelling can differ, as I will show you. So I just highlight the first bit here and scroll down to the tags. See there are a few more tags there. Um, name, colon, GA. No. That's it. And as I said, it actually continues up to Maudlin Street, but as you can see, I've only highlighted this bit, so I have to highlight the rest. That is, oh, I'll go back and copy what I've just typed in so I don't have to struggle through that again. And highlight the next bit here that goes up to the townland border and then this bit that should end at Modlin Street. Highlight those two. And they're both John Street lower. If I accidentally highlighted one that wasn't part of that bit, um, it would give me multiple values in the name field, which it doesn't. So name colon GA, and then just paste that. It says here, part of trial one way. That's not true, but anyway. And then we have John Street Upper, sometimes also just Upper or John Street, just to be confusing, which should go up to this crossing yes and I have the name here so name GA and then I'll just paste it again and just change the last bit but if you look at where did I have that um, further up the street there is the old sign for John Street and you see, it doesn't have the upper part. It's on this pub here, um, Kilkenny House or O'Gorman's. And it has the old sign and it has the has it in the old Irish font or script. And I will add that as odd name GA. S E A G H. And the dot is a bit difficult to read, but pretty sure there should be a dot above it. Like that. So that's just Sean. I guess that's how it's pronounced. I don't know. Um so it's another another way of, of saying John Asquilge. Um and there are more. And if you come across that you might have you might uh, want to use the alt name. Um, I'm not quite sure if I should have used old underscore name colon GA or if I get away with alt. Um, so these are the examples I want to show you. Just make sure that you, when you have a, a road or a street that is um, made up of different bits, like Dublin Road in Kilkenny is made of an awful lot of bits because it's been split so many times, that you highlight the whole long road and add the Irish name tag to it. Shinny, slang of